Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Um, I'm not too good today. I'm not too good today. You know, um, the last day or two, I've been a little bit depressed with how the world's going. You know, people fighting over culture, people fighting over skin colour, people fighting over, over religion and, you know, um, immigration and all this fucking bullshit that I'm not even interested in. But it's it's depressing to watch, it's depressing to see. You only have to be flicking through Instagram or Facebook or TikTok to come, a, come across, you know, people fighting and arguing over whatever the fucking fighting over. It's depressing. It is really depressing to see the world crumbling around me. It's doing my head in. You know, uh, it's fucking sad to see and then everyone making videos on it, it's fucking doing me head in as well. You know, people chatting absolute fucking waffle, getting the temp ends worth in, talking about fucking having their opinions across, you know, politics or, or skin colour or religion or why people are fighting. Who gives a fuck? Do you know, just stop fucking fighting. You know, um, just the world would be a better place if there was no violence going on. You know, I just don't get it. I don't understand why people want to fight and argue over skin colour, race, or, or religion, or, you know, people buying into the media. How backward do you have to be to watch the news and be ran by fear or control or, or manipulation? You know, how backward do you have to be? You know, you're a fucking grown man. 50% of the people that are writing won't even know why they're writing. They're that thick. You know, uh, it's just fucking stupid. You know, and on top of that, you know, I'm, I'm going through messages every night. You know, for every 10 messages that I get, you know, um... There's two or three messages that are, that, that are absolutely vile. No, vile. You know, I go through messages every night, every day. You know, and some of them are fucking disgusting. Vile. You know, I'm not even going to get into it. You know, the things they're talking about me and my family and saying stuff. Do you know what I mean? And I know, you know the sad thing is as well, I know it's people who, 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 who know me personally. You know, who are close to me because of the things they talk about in my past and stuff like that. And I've got to read these every night. You know, I get these messages. I go through my messages every night and I try and engage with people who, who, who want to know about addiction or mental health, you know, who are really, really struggling. You know, I'm trying to engage with these. But guess what? You know what? Even that's taken a toll on me. You know, trying to help people put myself out there. You know, trying to engage with strangers who are struggling with certain things. You know, I'm constantly putting myself out there to try and help people. You know, um, to try and spread awareness of mental health and addiction. Trying to, trying to tell them how to get clean and how to stay clean and stuff like that. I've had enough of that as well. I'm not doing it no more. You know, I'm putting too much pressure on myself. You know, and I'm forgetting to look after myself. You know, I've woke up this morning extremely fucking down and depressed. And on top of that, I've got friends and brothers who are turning on me because, you know, um, I've got no time for them. You know, um, you know, they're watching me on social media all smiles and giggles and trying to spread awareness, but then I've, I'm, I'm not answering the phone to them or I'm not massive messaging to them or I'm not getting back in touch with them. I'm forgetting who's there for me. I'm forgetting to look after me. You know, um, I'm forgetting what's most important for me. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I keep... You know, and I don't blame these 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 guys for you know turning on me and messaging me saying you know I'm not there for them. I'm false. I'm fake. I've got no time for them and all this because of the way I am on social media. You've got to understand social media is not real. You know, I'm doing my best to keep up appearances on social media. When for what? For what? You know, um, I've kind of had enough. You know, I, I've had enough of Instagram, I've had enough of TikTok, I've had enough of fucking YouTube. I, I, I kind of don't want to be on here no more. You know, um, it, life was a lot easier when I had no phone and I had no social media and I was just fighting, you know. But it's a sad reality of the world today that most fighters need a platform now to get on big platforms, to fight on these big platforms, to earn decent money. So that's the only reason I'm not going to delete my social media today because... If that was, the, if I could get away with deleting Instagram, TikTok, and, and YouTube today, I would. But I know for a fine fact, if I did that, I'm probably not going to get, get no big breaks in fighting. I probably have to stop fighting as well. Plus, I'm a personal trainer. I work off social media, but social media is fucking shit. It does me in. You know, um, I've got people throwing stuff in my face because of social media. You know, um, you know, um, not being able to be there for them as a good friend or a good brother, but yeah, talking about my social media platforms and saying you're there for him, you're doing this for him, you're saying that about him. Why, why aren't you, why aren't you answering my messages? Why aren't you there for me? And I'm thinking, fucking hell, I don't believe this. You know, I've had a couple of my friends telling me the last two or three weeks. It's been heartbreaking. It's been, it's been, it's been fucking heartbreaking. You know, saying I'm not, a, I'm not, I've got no time for them and stuff like that. Which they're right, they are right. You know, I've got no time for them either. You know, I've got no time for my fucking self. Never mind. My friends and brothers, you know, but one thing I can't stand is, is you know, um, people making assumptions off the back of my social medias and then thinking that I've got this going on and that going on when when I haven't, you know, uh, it's fucking shit, absolutely shit, I'm absolutely sick, you know, but anyway, look, this, I'm hoping this, these feelings will pass, you know, I'm posting this this morning to build awareness of, you know, it's not always a bed of roses in my life, you know, and I don't care who you are on social media, if you're smiling and you're looking at the camera and you're thinking you've got it all going on, it's not always that, 
you know, I've got, I'm feeling like shit today, you know, I don't, I can't be fucking arsed with, with life, never mind making videos and I just, I'm fucking sick, I'm absolutely sick today, but look, you know, um, I hope people can watch this video and understand that regardless of how clean I am, regardless of how connected I am spiritually or with God, regardless of the, the, the good things that I've got going on, I can still struggle, you know, I can still hit my knees and not want to get off them, you know, I can still not want to be fucking here, you know, because of certain situations or because of my fucking head wanting me dead, you know, my head convincing me that, you know, you are a shitty friend, you know, you you, you are a shitty brother, you know, you, 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 there's things you could be doing that, that, that are better in your personal life, in real life, you know, and maybe as I can, but listen, I'm only human and I'm getting things wrong on a day-to-day -day basis, but I'm doing my best to be the best version I possibly can, I'm not using, I'm tight with God, you know, I don't harm no one, I don't rip no drug dealers off, I'm not committing no crime, like, I don't understand, you know, yeah, anyway, I'm just going to leave it there. God bless, guys.